I, I'm actually kind of excited for that. That's that fire. sounds pretty That was cool. actually fire. That was W. That was yeah. W. Try not to disappoint us. Okay. That was actually yeah. fire. What's this bullshit? That was some bullshit. What's this bullshit right here? No matter what armies you face, what power you wield, or what creatures you unleash, we trust you will find a way to write your own legend. I remember playing this back in the day, man. Why do this? Yeah, Asian mythology, yo. Yeah. Oh, Asian mythology. Never played it. Way too broke to have a PC back in the day, boys. Very cool. Yeah, I Play it day one with Game Pass. Oh. What's this? The tower is the only sanctuary we have left. Together, we can give our people the hope we need to survive. This looks okay. That, 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 that looks okay. Ooh. They're making a new one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched the trailer for this before. Oh. Oh, damn. The conflict between the Alsara Guard and Havoc threatens the balance of the world. Why would he be there? The Alsara Guard is a tempest of disorder, sowing chaos wherever it roams. Oh, it's Venezuela. But we mm. are home to strike at their very core. Are oh, those Recon? Ooh. Havoc has cutting-edge technology, but is built on exploitation and suffering. United, we will plunge into the chaos. To find a spark the spark of oh, peace. Shit. We are GTI. No one gets left behind. Oh, Delta Force. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It looks so different right here. Cool. Played it already. Hard to say what I think about this. Yeah, it's Which GTI. We are announcing is coming to Steam Next Fest in October <coughs> in advance of its early access release later this year. All right, let's head back to the Middle Ages for a new look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 oh. with its authentic rendition of 15th century Bohemia as an action role-playing game. Uh-oh, here we Shit, go. I missed the call. I have concluded a very fragile truce with Sigismund. And if anyone should disrupt my plans with headstrong acts of violence, there will be consequences. Uh -oh. Hello? Hello? I intend to wage war, not yeah. parley. Yeah. Everything all right? Damn, that was hey. good. Hey. We need yeah. more people. God, I really got a bunch of new games coming on YouTube. Comrades. Well, if they're not already swinging on the gallows somewhere. Are you swinging? Man. Yeah. Will you help us, Henry? Mm -hmm. I was, no, I was hoping I'm not doing placement of that. Wow. God damn. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, much of us! They're really getting down in it. Look at this. Mm -hmm. 
like the late 1700s. 11th of February, wow. <laughs> I like that Going boy time. already. Looks good though, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Holy shit, gameplay premiere is the 21st of August. Okay. Wait, that's in like two, two days. That's in like wait, that's, that's tomorrow. tomorrow. Much more that's from tomorrow. That game coming this week during game. Okay. Fuck. Last month, the okay. ARPG Zenless Zone the Zero was released from HoYoVerse, <laughs> and now we've got the debut of a brand new area of new Eridu. Check it out. Let's see it. This game is farming Coomers on a completely new level. They added oh, yeah. thigh physics to the game. They added thigh physics to this game. Okay. Yeah, I think she's How the How you one. know that? It's actually crazy. Wait. Doesn't look that bad. Oh, little no, but it's not that bad. I have no fucking idea what happens in this game. I, I don't understand anything about the story at all. What the fuck? Not really. This is Zenless Zone Zero. Yeah. The man who came had tan skin and wielded two swords, one black and one white. Wow, he slashed so directly powerful. at the general's head. Almost equal to General Fei Shao. General Fei Shao? So I do know this I know one. I her well. You do? I know all her deeds on the battlefield yeah, by heart. Yeah, I played this one a lot. Such as... When General Fei Shao fought her way in and out of enemy ranks seven times. With a single strike, she knocked down a hundred enemies. A thousand! No, 10,000. Huh? You're exaggerating. Cities, leaving I don't know what I'm talking about this. Like this is what my online friends found at the scene. The sword in your hand was Look. Broken. In the form of a beast rushing forward like lightning, General Fei Shao shouted among the ruins. She's a fox girl? Are you my master? That's complete nonsense. <laughs> nonsense? I have even more impressive stories. Mm. Little girl. Do you know how to get to the seat of divine foresight? Hmm. That's cool. That's cool, all right. Yeah, whatever. I haven't There's played a fun little tease, and that was I haven't a new played look Star at the Rail since like when, when did I Star stop? Rail 2. 2. and Fei Shao, a female general known for her prowess in martial arts. Okay, now we're heading to the Arkhamverse for Batman Arkham Shadow. It arrives later this year and is a completely new Arkham story exclusive to MetaQuest 3. I played a demo of this, and I have to say, the team. Camouflage has done an lying. incredible job bringing the world and combat into Not VR. fucking lying. Here is your first look at the actual gameplay, a gameplay trailer for Batman Arkham Shadow. All right, let's see it. Let's see this bullshit. Meta Quest. Oh, oh it's a... Uh, wow. Okay. Hey. This rat cult spreads through Gotham like a plague. VR game. It's a I VR game? Stop it. <laughs> Even game. if it consumes me. You know how you can tell that it's a VR game? Failed you. It's because you it looks bad. Angry? It looks sad. <laughs> Fight back! It's the freaking bat! We aren't afraid of you! It's the bat yeah. tonight! Jim, this rat king could be anywhere. Face in the crowd, a foot soldier in his own fanatical mob. 
So how in the hell do we find him? Mm -hmm. Targets are all city employees. This looks like a fucking PS2 Civil game. servants. Public officials. You could have been more than a symbol. You could have been a god. Look out! If you don't calm down, someone's going to die. Alfred, we tried it your way. Now we do it mine. Something big's going down tonight. We repress our rage, our fears. It feeds the shadow deep inside us. You're everything that's wrong with Gotham! I'm done holding back! I can bring the Rat King to you. That's the coolest part of the game. <laughs> that's it. All right. A quest three. That's crazy. Well, that trailer was buzzing, and the whole city is buzzing during this week of games. And this weekend, sure the heart of like our it. beloved mm -hmm. gaming metropolis, Cologne, will transform into the vibrant Gamescom City Festival. There will be great music on three stages in the city center of Cologne on both days with another 100,000 guests. Yeah. Now, if you haven't been there yet, you should definitely go and check it out. That is what's happening in Cologne, and also people from more than 100 countries are here. But Gamescom has fans all over the world, and I have good news. Gamescom is heading to other continents. The first Gamescom LATAM took place in June and exceeded all of our expectations with over 100,000 fans immersed in the gaming universe. It was a fantastic show, and next year it's going to be even bigger. And... Gamescom Asia returns this October. You can join in on the fun and the entertainment area. They have it like everywhere except games, for in America. Stage shows, cosplay, Wait. and much, much more. The ticket shop is already open, or you can also tune in to That's our crazy. online show, Primetime, on October 17th. I wonder why. Maybe they just don't want the now, PvP. Now, who is ready for another <laughs> world premiere? All right, let's get it. Announced last year at ONL, here is a new look at Little Nightmares 3. Oh, I thought, oh, that was another, okay, okay, let's see it. All right. I thought we had looked at something if like we this. we have this to. Is a separate game from the same studio. Oh, oh no. Two players. Oh, yeah, I think Mike was telling this one's two players. It was like a Tim Burton film, but a game. I'll tell you that. It's co op limbo. I never play limbo. What's this? Firewatch. Oh, shit. They come over to part two. It's a Yeti. He's sad. He says, nobody believes I'm real. Mm. Oh. Hmm? Oh. Oh. It's not far away. You have the magic Yeti control rod. So like, what do you, uh, how, how do you win this game? The fuck you do? Alright. 
journey with your unit and shit. Hurdling? Hurdling. What the fuck? Some bullshit. Did you make him do anything? Alright, they're giving us some bullshit. Wow. You guys like that one? That's a beautiful game. Hurdling from Panic and Okamotive, and I'm so glad we could share that with you tonight. All right, Gamescom, we have a special guest joining us next. I grew up playing his games, and many of you did too. Titles like Populous, Dungeon Keeper, Magic Carpet, Theme Park, I haven't heard Black that and name White, since... and Fable. Wow. And tonight he's here to reveal his Populous. brand new game, which he's secretly been working on for the past three years. Please join me, Gamescom, in welcoming to ONL Peter Molyneux. What the fuck? Wait, hold up. Wait, what? Wow. He's back! Oh my god. <laughs> what an incredible honor it is to be here on the stage with Jeff. Yes, Peter. I, he's amazing. It's, this is so fun. And so a couple months ago, you and I had lunch in London. I was like, what are you working on? You're like, well, I've actually been working on a game for a number of years. You've kept very quiet about it. Yeah. You uh -huh. really wanted to let like, the game speak for itself. But tell us about Masters of Albion. Right. So after messing around on mobile, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> I thought to myself, I need to come home. I need to come home to PC on console. So okay. I've looked at Dungeon Keeper. I've taken some things oh that God. I've wanted to explore further with Dungeon Keeper. I've done the same with Black and yeah. White. I've taken the things from Black and White. I've done the same with Fable. And this is what I'm showing tonight. Well, and to your credit, you've self-funded this project yourself. Yeah. You put together a team of a lot okay. of veterans from those games. Yeah, I mean, I, I think my first realization is I needed to bring the old team back together again. So... I'm working with people like Mark Healy and Russell Shaw and Ian Wright, the people that helped on and created <coughs> Black and White, Dungeon Keeper, and Fable. Anyway, let's have a look at Masters of Albion. All right, here's the world premiere, Masters of Albion. Let's see Peter it, Mollett. I'm ready. I'm a little too excited for this one. This is Masters of Albion. We're Come a team on. of 20 people dedicated to making something new Unique yeah, I think he's rich as fuck. Shut up. I don't want to hear that bullshit. Come on. Okay. Here we are in the familiar, vast world of Albion, packed with stories, quests, treasures, and monsters. It's blurry as fuck. This is Oak Ridge. By day, you're tasked with building the town up, gaining resources, and earning money. Okay. By night, your town will be attacked by many of Albion's creatures. Yeah. You can design anything. The food that people eat, the mm. clothes they wear, the weapons they use, the armor they fight with. There is a strategy behind every creation. I can even feed them rats. My town's working hard Let me to tell make you, that's, that's, that's not, not so good. I can help out. Or... What? I can also design, customize, and create all buildings. Wait. It's like the hand of God. Yeah, what do they do? Night is coming. The sun is going down. And now uh -huh. my town needs defending against the horrors of Albion. And this is my hero's time to shine. You don't have to play in God mode. At any point, you can possess a character. Oh! Or play in third person. Oh, that's cool. My oh. hero is now under my complete control. And now it's Ooh, time terribly to worked. fight. Beat the fuck out of him. <coughs> this doesn't seem like a combat-focused game. My hero's mm -hmm. getting overwhelmed. Looks most terribly. Let's switch back to God mode and unleash some real power. Okay. Okay, we survived the night. Now, let's design a better weapon for my hero. You can be as silly as you want, but bread swords just won't cut it. Yeah, probably not. This is just a glimpse of Masters of Albion. 
an open world god game full of combat, choices, mystery, and story. Did they just call it a god game? It's available to wishlist on Steam now. That's kind of funny. It's a god. Expectations. Sorry. I've been here before. They're not showing blood. In the fall. <clears throat> I think that says a lot. Countless times. Who I was. It's the chick that played Yennefer. Who I might become. All possible futures existing in motion. What the heck is this? <laughs> It is time to awaken. Mm. All these games look like they're moving a little more. I don't know. That's cool. Let's go. And it is my duty, my journey, to step into the unknown. This is the pay to win game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the pay to win. Oh, wow. You missed WoW too? I bet I did. You got them champ games good too? That's how they pay to win. Yeah. I've heard that too many times recently. Sad. Arena Breakout Infinite is now available in early access with the full release coming at the end of the year. Now, over the years, Blizzard has been a big part of Gamescom history, and this week we are thrilled to welcome them back for the first time since 2019. And to tell us more, here's the president of Blizzard, Johanna Ferris. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Gamescom. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for having us on behalf of Blizzard. This is such a massive moment, but it's such a special time to be sharing it here with everyone at Gamescom, and we're just really honored and grateful to be here. Well, we're very glad to have you guys back, and I know you got a, a big booth with Xbox, right? We do, yes, and come on by if you're here all week long. We're proud of it. Um, but it's also a particularly Xbox, big moment for here. Warcraft. We have celebrations and anniversaries galore oh, across Oh, like that game that's coming out. Rumble, yeah. And of course, a very big milestone for World of Warcraft this year. Yes, yeah, speaking of World of Warcraft, The War Within, its global launch is, uh, is coming up very soon this month, right? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. And Friday. we're just days away from the global launch of yep. The War Within. Um, August 26th, it's go time for that. And in two days, we'll actually open up early access for players. So we're excited about it. Come, out, come on in and join. Yep. And I just want to say it's masterful work from the team. The World I Soul Saga so. opens up such ambitious creative territory for us, arguably some of the most ambitious we've ever seen since WoW initially released 20 years ago. And we can't wait to embark on it and share it with players. 
Yeah, it's uh, very exciting that this month is mm -hmm. time for that. But uh, I know this is, you said, there's so many Warcraft anniversaries, Blizzard anniversaries, Warcraft anniversaries. How can players be a part of this? Yeah, there's a ton of ways we're going to be able to celebrate. Game, right? So mm -hmm. we definitely hope that you join us. There will be in-game events that commence in October, so there will be more details on that, but players will be able to earn really cool in-game rewards, yeah. and we'll be finding some creative ways to celebrate the history of Azeroth together. Um, and also be on the lookout for our very first Warcraft Direct, where the team will share more in the coming months on all the things going on for the Warcraft universe. Okay, well, that's exciting. Um, now, I was wondering about, you know, all the other Blizzard teams, are they going to get in and, and celebrate these anniversaries too? They are. Well, they There'll have the Odin on nice the screen. There'll be surprises along the way, but I do want to shout out tonight the you Overwatch know? 2 team. Okay. Um, they've been doing some amazing work to show their honoring of World of Warcraft and the legacy that Who it knows? brings. There'll be a new collab in September. We wanted to share tonight with all of you a sneak peek of the very first new skin. It's Widowmaker and she's embracing her allegiance for the Horde as Sylvanas Windrunner. So be on the lookout for more details from the Overwatch right. team on that. Okay, thanks for bringing a little scoop along, this, along with you. That's fantastic. Uh, now let's move to another franchise that is, is, has a, a big year, Diablo. Oh, yes. All oh, eyes shit. on October 8th. <laughs> yes. Diablo. Um, we are super excited for the Vessel of Hatred, and we're even more excited that here at Gamescom this week will be the chance to have the first ever live hands-on experience with our very new Spiritborn class. It's beautiful, it's awesome to play, and it's definitely a key part of what makes the Vessel of Hatred so special for us. All right, well, oh. I understand you might have brought a little something special with you as well. We have, here's a look at our mercenary companions. So take a look on behalf of the Vessel of Hatred. Oh, they're adding nose in. That's cool. Suffering, desolation, horror. This is the road we know in Sanctuary. However, some of us have taken a different path. Bound by secrecy, ready to stand and fight for those who seek us out. My shield is your protection! There was a time we fought the vilest of Sanctuary. You fools get uglier and uglier. Until we were left with only our inner demons. But the return of hatred has pulled us back into the light. That's cool. Yeah! Your blood feeds my I like that. And though we now wait, watching, from the shadows, we cannot escape who we are. Why we fight. Please, no! Stay away! Or the fury that burns within us. I have your Wait, back. what? I'm with you! I will not let you down. Stay back! See it? Shoot it. What the hell? Strength in numbers. I am your guardian. I am your redemption. I am your vengeance. I am your rage. We are the pale hand, and we are the reason you need never fight alone. Cool idea. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen with that. Yeah, I used to give, like, remember you give him the sword and then you stand in between an elite and the sword, like, the chain kills him or some shit? That looks great. Yeah, Thanks I remember for the sneak that. Peek. Of course, and it's my esteemed pleasure to introduce Brent Gibson, game director of Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred. All right, let's see it. Hello, Gamescom! The team and I are so proud that Diablo 4 is the type of game that has something for all gamers. Yeah. And in Vessel of Hatred, it's no exception. We are hard at work at adding new ways to play and new ways to grow in power. Like mercenaries. Ordinary people with extraordinary skills that you can hire to fight alongside you in your battle against hell. 
We're there. We're also adding it's the Kuros Underground. It's a kid with demon. It's a demon kid. It's a multi-layered dungeon that gives you oh. the control on the types of challenges you're going to see, as well as the rewards you may get. Oh, like Sanctum? And we also have the okay. Dark Citadel, our brand new co-op PvE dungeon that challenges everything you know about combat in Diablo through a gauntlet of multiplayer puzzles and mechanics. Let me see it. We're talking about all of it right here at Gamescom. Right now? And so stay tuned okay. if you want to see all the things that you're going to see in Vessel of Hatred <laughs> launching October 8th. And I hope to see every single one of you on the floor all the way through the show. So thank you very much. See you on the floor. Great. Um, I hope they come up with some cool ideas. Thanks, Brent. All right, now we're heading to the hardcore action role-playing world of the first Berserker, Kazan. Oh, set for yeah. 2025 release. This game looks Intense badass. Intense combat meets breathtaking 3D cell animation in a brutal yeah. world from Nexon. Coming to PC and console, let's witness the chaos that awaits. This better be good. This is going to be new content. Yeah, it looks like it's new. The two wolves who defeated the beast <laughs> will tear into the neck of the aged lion. For years, I faced unrelenting fury, made countless sacrifices. Result of my devotion. I watched some of the gameplay from this game. It was actually pretty good. Active plan. That's pretty fucking badass, that man. That is, that's badass. The constraints of the past are history. Here, you rule the way you've always wanted. Yeah? This is gonna get stunned by AI. Your choices oh. will remake the world. And every turn becomes an opportunity to triumph. Yeah? What does that mean? Another city better game. Oh, okay. Good it's your world now. Our, uh, three untold. Is this like civilization? Yeah, I'm gonna say civilization. Play it day one with PC Game Pass. This looks like civilization for dumb millennials. Why do I have to follow my lead? Shut up! You can't even run from Ooh, dark and darker. It's cool they're adding in like actual trailers and shit like this for the game. This is badass. It's 
not dark and darker. It's not. It is dark and darker. It's dark and darker mobile. You man, you Game got me. Minute. You got me fucked up. Dark and Darker Mobile is now yeah. available for global Y'all trying to stress me out thinking I'm done. Now from NetEase mm -hmm. Games, this next trailer what? is a you new life simulation game phone? where players can travel among super-powered worlds to craft their island and engage with friends. Ooh. Let's take a look. Oh, how exciting. Can we go back to the first Berserker game? <laughs> All right, we got another game to show you, which will take you on an epic global adventure. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Check this okay. out. Okay. All right. Uh, actually, this game looks pretty good. What if I good. told you there was a connection between ancient cultures around the world? The yeah, Great Circle. Does it exist? <laughs> Is it the Indiana key to Jones? some lost power? That's up to you to uncover. Yeah, I saw a gameplay for this before. It actually looked relatively I'm good. I'm Troy Baker, and I play indie. It's humbling playing a character that so many people, myself included, look up to. Yeah. As a kid, seeing Indiana Jones in the theater for the first time was a defining moment for me. And I never would have guessed that all these years later, I would be the one wearing the hat. But here I am. It's been a dream come true. A dream that I cannot wait for you to live for yourself. The beauty of a first-person game like this is that we all get to feel what it's like to become indie. You are the one who cracks the whip, who feels the weight of every punch yeah. and the thrill of finding every clue. Indy is such a unique character. Professor, an archaeologist, a brawler, an explorer, the quintessential all-around adventure. And this game has everything you'd expect from an Indiana Jones adventure. Mysterious artifacts, cunning villains, ancient That's discoveries, hard-hitting action. It's a world of constant danger where you've got to think on your feet to stay alive. Uh -oh. The Great Circle spans the entire globe, from snake-filled jungle temples to scorpion-riddled desert tombs. Stunning open areas to explore freely, full of secrets for you to discover. And you'll get more than just the classic whip and revolver. Indy's journal and his camera will immerse you in the mystery, providing extra info on all of your finds so you can appreciate all of the little historical details he obsesses over. And those details are your key to solving the ancient puzzles that hold the secrets you're after. But ancient secrets don't come easy. It's best to have an exit strategy. This is an incredible new way to experience Indiana Jones, and I can't wait for you to play it. Hold on to your hat. Yeah, I could actually see this game being okay. I could. It's Doesn't possible. that look great? A it's world like a of whole, mystery to explore. But you're probably wondering when the game comes out, right? Yeah. Well. <laughs> December 9th. Okay. Cool. There you have it. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is coming out 
this December for Xbox Game Pass and PC. But there is one more thing that Machine Games and Bethesda wanted to share with you about Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. What is it? It's coming the out game's on coming to PlayStation 5 in spring of 2025. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, before we wrap up O&L, oh, we do have Great. one final game announcement for you. Check All this right. out. All right, let's see it. This thing of ours, it's a brotherhood. Treachery. And deceit do not exist among us. Actually seems kind of cool. Yeah, that seems. I'm Nick Baines, yeah. president of Hangar 13. What you just saw is the first <coughs> early look at Mafia: The Old Country, a thrilling yeah. story set in 1900 Sicily during the origins of the Mafia. We're going back to the roots of what fans love about the Mafia franchise, crafting a deep linear narrative with that classic mob movie feeling. Mafia's success is built on our players' passion for the franchise, and we're so proud to return to Mafia with the old country. We can't wait to show you all more. Thanks cool. for watching. Yeah, all that actually looks pretty cool. I like that. No gameplay? No, but that was it's a, a fun cool surprise, premise. right? All right, well, that yeah. is a wrap on Opening Night Live from here in Cologne, Germany. And we hope to see you again this December, December 12th, when the Game Awards streams live everywhere for our 10th anniversary show. And it's going to be a very special okay, night as we give you a sense this of where games are going in the next decade. We don't want to say that much now, either. but trust me, it's going to be a very special show. All right, well, thanks again to my co-host, Shox. Didn't she do a great job? Thank you so much, Jeff. It was really great to be here. I hope everyone had an amazing time. And can I say something in German, too? Good. Don't want to show you up, but uh, vielen Dank, ihr Lieben. Ich hoffe, ihr habt eine super, super Zeit und viel Spaß auf der Gamescom. Well I, done, I German, as opposed to mine. Like, I'm learning. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, Shocks. Thanks to everyone. Enjoy Gamescom. Have a great night. GG, that was a